The agreement on school choice legislation announced earlier this week by Governor Abbott has fallen apart. Today at the Capitol, there is a lot of finger pointing and accusations of blame for the special session meltdown. Fox 7 Austin's chief political reporter Rudy Kosky live downtown at the Capitol with reaction. Rudy. Yeah, Mike, uh, certainly a meltdown, really in play right now. The special session, you know, it doesn't end until Tuesday, so there's still some time to make a deal, a last minute deal. But the blame game that started today makes a deal making a little bit more doubtful and another special session more likely and extremely possible. Now, the state house remains listed at at ease. Members are home and awaiting a callback from the speaker pending action by the state Senate. Thursday, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick in a social media post asked if this legislative stalemate was, quote, tragedy or comedy. He accused House Speaker Dave Feeling of wasting time during the special session and failing to allow House votes on bills passed by the state Senate involving school choice and a teacher pay raise, which was initially held, you may remember, as a bargaining chip by Governor Greg Abbott. I spoke to Round Rock Democrat James Tellerico if he thought the school choice fight is officially over for this special session. You know, we still have until uh, Tuesday of next week for the special session to end. But I think it's clear that there is a bipartisan pro-public education majority in the Texas House that has no appetite for a private school voucher scam that will take our precious taxpayer dollars out of our underfunded public schools and give them to unaccountable private schools. We've had this debate, uh, you know, in almost every session since 1957. That was the, the year when the first voucher was proposed in the state of Texas. And every time it's been brought up, every time it's been debated, a bipartisan majority in the Texas legislature has defeated it. Yeah, but you didn't bring it up for a vote. So how can you say it's been defeated? Well, I think things aren't brought up for a vote if they don't have the support of the of the majority of members in the Texas House. The Senate early on passed a teacher pay raise bill, SB2. Do you regret that that didn't come up for a vote, even though it wasn't technically part of the call? They have offered crumbs to our starving schools as a carrot to try to get us to pass their private school voucher scam that will ultimately de defund those very same public schools. And so I, I'm not interested in gimmicks. I'm interested in a real solution that will actually fully fund our neighborhood schools, that will actually catch teachers up to the national average in teacher pay. Nothing like that has been proposed. Now, legislation to address the border crisis has also been caught up in this fight between the lieutenant governor and the House Speaker. Lieutenant Governor Patrick calling uh, HB4 a Texas-sized catch-and-release bill, comparing it to controversial immigration rules by the federal government. Meanwhile, Speaker Phelan responded by accusing the Senate of watering down that House bill into what he described as a state-funded hospitality program for illegal immigrants. Meanwhile, Governor Greg Abbott, where is he? Well, he left the state of Texas during this Texas standoff, flew to Israel. The governor posting pictures today of a meeting that he had with the prime minister there and with families displaced by the October 7th terror attack. Now, the state Senate is scheduled to meet Sunday afternoon. If, and, I, and this is a big if, if a compromise doesn't happen, he will have to wait. We will just have to wait and see uh, if the governor will call special session number four and if the school choice reboot will take place before or after Thanksgiving.